Welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you're here hanging out with us for another video today. My name's Cora and we're just going to be working on the Dell Soul. I ordered a new wideband kit and need to get it installed. But specifically, I'm going to teach you how to wire up your new wideband kit directly to your ECU. That way you're able to data log everything accurately if you have Honda, um, specifically for an OBD1 Honda. What's up you guys? We're just hanging out, working on the Del Sol. I'm really excited because my new wideband kit showed up. It's just like my last one that I had that got chewed up. But we're gonna be installing this today. To go along with that, I've got some new LED headlights that I need to put in, because I've got a light that's out. And I've got a boost control solenoid that I need to get installed. So we've got a few little upgrades for the dull soul. I'm excited. Let's go ahead and get to work. All right, you guys, you're looking at the AEM electronics wideband kit. This is what's included. But we're going to take it outside and get it installed on the Del Sol. So we're going to start out trying these three wires. Hooking them directly into the ECU. Because I want to be able to data log my wideband accurately. So the red one is the power. The black is the ground wire. And we're pretty sure that this brown is the output. Alrighty y'all, depending on where your gauge cluster is, you might have to modify your wiring. Since my cluster is all the way over here and the ECU is all the way on this side, we had to modify ours and make it a little bit longer. Once you get past that point, I'm going to show you where you need to put it into the ECU. And we read an article on hamotorsports.com about it. We couldn't find very many YouTube videos about it, which is why I'm going to kind of visually show you guys what we did. Your wideband power wire is needing to be hooked up at A25, which is this black and yellow wire right here. And then the ground wire is needing to be hooked up at A26 which is the red and the black wire that you see right here and with those two wires you don't want to cut them in half completely you just want to splice into it but for this last one which is the 0 to 5 bolt output signal wire that one needs to be hooked up at D14 and you do want to cut that wire in half which is this white blue wire right here. You want to cut that in half and then just hook up your wiring to the part that's attached to the ECU. Is that my new Crocs? Yeah, they're so cute. <laughs> uh, if you want to be able to data log it accurately, to your ECU, you need to hook it up to the same power and ground as the ECU. All right, let's get this thing started and see if it works. It's working. All right, girl.
Where's he going? Why are you so cute, Bo? <laughs> he tries to dig a hole in the couch. That chicken. <laughs> Doing nothing but spoiling him. I'm reporting you to the chicken page. <laughs> you think I'm a good chicken mama, don't you? Yeah. Tell him. You guys are looking at my old. HID light setup. It went out, so I went ahead and ordered some LEDs to replace it. Which are a lot simpler. So we're going to go ahead and get these installed and see how they work. <laughs> 